If you guys are into the Artist Alley line, boy, do we have some cool things to show you today. Hey guys! Hi guys! Alrighty, so, a very fun video. Probably the thing that we like collecting the most right now. That's Definitely. new, and of course DC and uh, fun. It's a lot of fun. It's very artistic, which I really enjoy. Yes, it has it has a hence the artist alley. A foundation of something I totally can get behind. Yes, definitely. And what that is is the artist alley line. Basically what DC has done is they walk down artist right. alley at these cons and sort of pointed and picked out people that they thought, hey, their art's really mm -hmm. interesting. That could translate really well into statues right. or figures more or less. And that's what they've done here. If you guys haven't seen our original review of Chris Dominguez's lineup, mm -hmm. big fans of it, we'll put an eye so you guys can check that out. Um, so many great variants, just an amazing array of characters, and it's continuing to expand, which we'll show you in some of these ones. But let's get started with some of the new ones that are just coming out in December and January. So as you can see, we have quite an array of them from the different lines that we're going to review today. The ones that you're going to review, DC sent us. Yes. So thanks a whole bunch, DC. Thank you, thank yes, you. They sent it to us there to check them out, and then the rest of them we bought. Because again, we're big fans of them and <laughs> we we'll are. continue to buy them. So uh, let's get started with the black and white version variant, we'll say, of Heinene Nooligan. Mm -hmm. These are some really cool ones. Now these are limited to 500 pieces. The normal ones are each about 3,000 pieces and then all the variants get smaller, 500 pieces or less sometimes. Or more sometimes, in fact. But yeah, so this is really cool. This one, I'll tell you about this, this whole lineup here. They're very delicate though, I will say that. They're extremely delicate, especially in the joints, like around the ankles and stuff. So when you're taking them out, be very careful because they can break. If you've collected the Chris Amigo ones before, those are much more durable than these designs because these have very thin ankles mm -hmm. as far as the art goes. But this is Batman. Uh, the black and white I decided to go with maybe more than any of them because I just thought they looked cool. Just the way that the art is, it makes it look almost like it was grabbed from a comic book. Yeah, that's what I really like. I like how the lines are very thick, very bold, and you can see like differentiation between the muscles and the outfit and everything. I really enjoy these. Yeah, the, it's weird too because like the muscles just extrude off of the body. Yes. It, they, they really not, uh, you wouldn't think that would even work in real life, but it makes for a very cool design. Mm -hmm. So I really, really love these and I love how even like the knee joints are concave. I was gonna say, I like that they're kind of hollow, they're different. It's yeah. not something that you would typically expect to see, but I do like that. Yeah, so really, really fun using his sneakers and his high socks. Just something different, you know, if you're if you're Batman fans or DC fans, it's fun to get something different yeah. sometimes, right? I would never expect to see Batman in like a pair of chucks, which I really <laughs> think is kind of cool. Exactly. So we also have Joker. Mm -hmm. This one again, very, very delicate. All the joints are very thin. That's sort of the art behind this. The reason I liked this one so much is it reminded me a lot of Almost like, um, almost like a Dick Tracy or a, a little bit of a Disney Mad TV. Yeah, it's very exaggerated. Yeah, it, it has this, this artistry that's very strange, but mm -hmm. I like it. Something I haven't seen before in a Joker. Yeah, I think it's there's some similarities though with Joker, but like his stance where his pelvis is kind of leaning forward or tilted forward, which you mm -hmm. see that a lot in Joker's like designs. And yeah. I, I don't know, I'm glad that they stuck with that. But I like how he has this e extremely large mouth. It's mm -hmm. obnoxious. Yeah, 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 definitely. Very cartoony. Yes. So that one's cool. I really love the design of that one. Again, though, very, very delicate. These are actually, uh, this one feels more plastic than, mm -hmm. the, than the other one where it feels, I think they're all PVC, but when you get real thin PVC, it, it just feels like a really, right. really light plastic. Uh, these again, 500 pieces, and this one is super, super light. Mm -hmm. Very light on that one. And then uh, your favorite. My favorite. I love Harley so much. I think that she's actually a little bit thicker than Joker yeah. and the thighs and the legs. And that's a good thing. Of course. Everybody wants <laughs> a thick Harley. But I really like her. Her foot has actually come loose on this, yeah. and that's just because of how thin everything is, and, and that's going to happen. So, of course, again, be careful. But I love her design. I love how even with the black and white, you can still kind of see the character in her face. You can mm -hmm. see that expression, especially how the one eye is kind of winking shut a little bit. I love that so much. I think that her fingers remind me a lot of Mickey Mouse. Like the yeah. gloves, how they're very pointed and thick. I don't know. I just love this cool, a lot. Right? Yes, it's cool, right? Yeah, definitely. Cool. And I love how you can see the lines like yes, comic book. Again. I mean, that's, what I, that's what I saw when I saw this lineup. Mm -hmm. The color ones are really great. But I just thought that these black and white ones are very comic right. which I thought was really cool. Could look really cool if you're going to do maybe like a little display mm -hmm. and then have like uh, the art in the back that's black right. and white or exactly. something. exactly. And speaking of the art, um, if you guys collect the Artist Alley, you know that these do come with little pieces, little 
uh, art prints, basically. Right. So you can see you get the Harley in black and white, you get the Joker in black and white, and, and then, then also the Batman. Batman. Um, and if you get the colored versions, they'll be in color. Now there's also one more variant of this, one more character that doesn't necessarily um, belong in the, the original three, one sort of comes out of nowhere. And that's Nightwing. The Nightwing one looks just like the same art, same artist, and it looks really, really cool. The colored one I absolutely love. Um, the black and white one's great too, and then one thing about all of these, there's actually a Day of the Dead variant yes, series of these. Yes, I love that yes. version. And that's what we got with the Batman was the Day of the Dead. Batman, the horror looks amazing. Yes. The Joker looks amazing. And again, the Night Ring does too. Right. So but when that's you, the one to when have, you combine like the amazing art that these artists have put together plus Day of the Dead art, it's just yeah. phenomenal. Very it cool. truly is great. Now up next, the ones that DC sent us. Now these are designs by Sho Marase. So of course, they're very beautiful. They're very yeah. feminine and I absolutely adore very them. Liney, yes, very liney. Yes, very yeah. Uh, very swirling. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing about her is she is Korean and Japanese, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, European American. She's she lives right. over. But she grew up in Spain. Yeah, I grew up in Spain. But uh, her art is very very Japanese, where they like mm -hmm. to use inks almost, right. where there are as few lines as possible to explain the content mm -hmm. as much as possible. And that's and she sort of meshed that in with right. Western art. Right, and, and she did. It's really cool. She's done well, technically four characters, but the three main ones she's done are the Sirens, and that's Harley, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman. So let's start off by going over the versions that you're going to see, the variants, and then the standard version. The standard version is limited to 3,000 pieces, and it's red, black, and white, and these are beautifully done. We have the holiday version, which is limited to 500 pieces, and these are, of course, holiday colors. We have the rainbow iridescent, which are limited to 1,500 pieces, and these ones are only available at Books A Million. And then we have the clear cast sparkle, and these are limited to 700 pieces, and they're available at Hot Topic. And the clear cast is basically their colors like yes. you know it's just it's beautifully done and we have one of each here we do so we can kind of get an idea of what those all are going to look like the first one is the iridescent harley quinn this one is probably one of my favorite designs of the three that she's done because i love how harley's pigtails just kind of wrap around her mm -hmm. they're very beautiful it's very very like sailor moonish which i absolutely love that well, in a way it is yeah mm -hmm. and i like that iridescent paint job i do too it's just it's a nice thing to do you lose all you lose um, Harley. A yeah, you bit. you know, because it's one solid color. Right. But the paint app is really cool for an experiment, right. you know. I mean plus you I mean you have Beatrice, so you you know you still have Harley there, of <laughs> yeah. course. And again, those are books a million. Books a million. Yeah. My second favorite one is definitely the Poison Ivy. I, I love Poison Ivy. I think that she's one of the best characters that DC does. Rarely does. Rarely does, yeah. definitely. Movie wise anyway. Yeah, and I love how like this one has all of the detail in the vines. Like you can see all of the different like little mouth opening and just mm -hmm. it's beautiful. And I love how this one is the clear cast sparkle. This is yeah. the Hot Topic Isn't that one. Cool? It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And her face, she even has glitter on her like, eyelids and her eyebrows. Mm -hmm. It just adds so much character to this. See, that one's my favorite, I think. You think so? I love that. I love how she's sitting on her mm -hmm. hair as it sort of turns into a vine. And yeah, definitely. That is so cool. And and like you said, that clear uh, cast resin mm -hmm. that has the glitter in it. Right. You can, if you put that probably in front of a light or something, that's going to give off this really Absolutely. cool sort of look. Mm -hmm. So, big fan of that one. And then, I love this one as well. It's not my absolute favorite, but I think this one's really cool. And the Catwoman is just, she's well done. She's very, very light. And I think that her waist is just like very cartoonish. It's mm -hmm. so tiny. And then her, her hips and everything are just so exaggerated. I think this is nice. And I love how her whip is wrapping around her too. Mm -hmm. It just adds a little something extra to it. And that's the black and red faded right. version. That's actually what the artwork of hers looks like. Right. So that, that one, the normal version, is actually matching what you would see. Mm -hmm. And again, inside of the box, you get that art. Like here's Poison Ivy, and then you can see uh, Harley Quinn mm -hmm. as well as Catwoman. All great pieces of art. Mm -hmm. And you can see how beautiful her artwork is. Like it's that's just, awesome. It's amazing. And it actually translated into the, uh, the sculpt very well. Yeah, it, it really did. Because sometimes you never really know how it's going to translate, but I think hers is beautiful. And again, there's another character that is being released that isn't within those main three. And that's Batgirl. Right. So the Batgirl, they're going to follow the same color patterns, the same paint mm -hmm. patterns. You're going to get a black and red and white version that will be sold everywhere. You're also going to get a holiday version, which is probably already out green, red, and white. That one actually looks really nice. Mm -hmm. That could be my favorite holiday one. That's I think so. really, it's my really favorite nice holiday looking. one. Limited to 500 pieces. Again, another rainbow iridescent one that's like a purple and blue and pink. Like That's a really cool look, too. 
uh, 800 pieces at Books A Million. Then there's also a clear cast sparkle pink one mm -hmm. that looks great. That's going to be at Foot Locker. Which is such a strange yeah, place. Yeah, so you guys might know that Foot Locker now is doing this pop mm -hmm. section now where they're going to get into collectible, the collectible right. market. Um, so I haven't seen any store yet with this yet. Either. They have a few things online for sale, like mm -hmm. Funko Pops, but I don't know what's going on there. We're going to have to kind of wait and see what happens there. But 700 pieces on that one, so again, it's limited, but that is a really, really nice one. And then the most interesting one that I think, a uh, gold version. Right. That will be exclusive to the DC Universe members. That's us. That's right, of <laughs> and course. And this one is limited to 1,000 pieces, so they're going to give you a little more because there's probably more, um, mm -hmm. you know, subscribers to it. Right. That. And it's fun. And, and it's such a cool one. Uh, yeah, and we'll have a review for the DC Universe uh, a little bit later. I know you guys have been asking for it, but we've been getting through Titans. And oh, my God. And we'll have a review of that. We're going into Young Justice and things like that. There's so, so much to watch. Yeah. Now, if you're interested in the boxes, uh, for the black and white ones, you're going to get basically just sketches on the front of them, as far as that goes, and then all three of them on the top. Uh, this is not as nice as what like the Omingo ones are, mm -hmm. where they had the magnetic front that yes. opens up and you can see inside of it with the sketch on the front. So I'm not sure um, what the change was or, or why it changed, um, but these are just normal. Mm -hmm. So um, that's it, as far as the black and white. Uh, Heinen and Nooligan one is. You have to actually open it to see what's inside of it. And for all three of these, none of them have the magnetic book on them. You have to open all of them, which I prefer the magnet. I Mag really like that, that magnetic, window. Magnetic? I got tongue tied. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, really I prefer like that, that window. window a lot. But again, they do tell you what store the exclusive is here on mm -hmm. the sort of fold, the little corner here, the edge, the elbow, I'll say. Right. Um, and then you have the actual paint job on the front of it. So I just like the boxes. Like, yeah, I, think I do these too. These are cool boxes. I, I like the shape of them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. All, those, all the new DC stuff has that angle here. And right. I kind of like that. It's, it's kind of like weird. It's like a D. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's what it actually is supposed to be, like so. the D's for DC maybe. I don't know, but that's cool. Now, let me go to a couple ones that I recently purchased that are an addition to the Chris Omega line. You know, the Omega line, I don't know if you guys can see that, but up here I have a bunch of them. We have all, <laughs> we almost, I think we might have got almost every single I variant so. of those. Big fans of those. Well, Flash just came out, so if you're fans of Flash, uh, he's starting to release right now. So the regular version here of Flash is out. That is awesome, right? It's very cool. I love the fade. The red is not mm -hmm. like red. It's it's red, but they've done so much wash to it. Right, that exactly. That is just awesome. And I love the smoke cloud on the back. I was going to say, I love pink. that. It's almost like a reflection of his mm -hmm. red. <laughs> like, I love this. I'm, I'm telling you right now, this... This and Batman could be my favorite in the line. I love it. That is limited to 3,000 pieces. So again, maybe easy to get. Uh, as far as Reverse Flash, everybody loves Zoom, right? Mm -hmm. Professor Zoom is awesome. You gotta have a Reverse Flash if you have a red one. I believe this one is also considered in the Villains line. Mm -hmm. So if you got the Omega stuff prior, uh, you had the Joker Batman, you had the Lex Luthor Superman, yes. and then the Cheetah Wonder Woman. This one kind of goes along with that, I would assume. Uh, this one is limited to 1,500 pieces, and this one is actually Box Lunch. So make sure you buy that from Box Lunch. Really, really cool. There's a couple more variants, if you guys have been following. Also, there is a Glow in the Dark version. The Glow in the Dark was Hot Topic. And then also a Hot topic zombie yes <laughs> they're continuing with the zombie version so again the zombie flash looks really cool mm -hmm. as well i like the zombie line but my favorite variant that i haven't seen anywhere yet and actually when they sent us the paperwork this is the first time i've seen it so i don't know if anybody's seen it yet to be quite honest with you it's super super amazing that is going to be the Foot Locker exclusive they're just calling it villain but it's black flash right a thousand pieces I gotta have this one. This one looks amazing. I think that one's gonna be kind of hard to get. Uh, yes, beautiful. And again, there is a black and white version to a gray version of these. And again, the boxes are a little different. They have the magnetic opening and then the artwork is on the inside of it. And it's right. great artwork, so if you guys can find a frame that takes a four, I don't know, what do you think that is? I think is? it's a four by six. Four by six, maybe. Uh, put it in a little frame, um, especially those ones that have multiple ones. It yeah. look really, really cool. That would be so, awesome. That's them, guys. And of course, your reverse flash will look great with your flash wing, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have those. So yeah, uh, again, I am a big fan of this art. Style. I am too. I love this line. I think that this is some fun. It gives like artists a chance to get their artwork out there, mm -hmm. which I absolutely love. To the masses. Right, with exactly. With a big name like right, DC. Right, exactly. Yeah, so cool. I I'm just a huge fan of them and I'll continue to collect them. And they got some strange ones coming out. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, they're going all over the place to find artists yes, that could be cool looking mm -hmm. for uh, any anybody out there. There's always a weird collector out there that say, hey, you know what? I might want that. So that's us. us. <laughs> <laughs> Again, guys, thank you, DC, for sending these out yes. to us. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next Thanks, time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.